In an emotional moment, a shocking admission from William that he had undergone a dramatic transformation in his own life caused many to immediately re-examine his upbringing. Indeed, William went from being a prince with a golden spoon, then suddenly becoming the most pitiful child in the world in the eyes of fans, and now the one about to be crowned king. To gain the strength to overcome all those major events, William used a secret weapon, and you will learn about it in this video. What are you waiting for? Let's start the video now. As a direct heir to the throne, we all know that Prince William's upbringing was meticulously crafted to prepare him for his future role as monarch. From the outset, Prince William's life was intertwined with the public eye. Unlike his predecessors, William accompanied his parents, Prince Charles and Princess Diana, on official tours and engagements from a tender age. Even before his first birthday, he journeyed with them to New Zealand, a testament to the global reach and duties of the British monarchy. Princess Diana, renowned for her compassion and forward-thinking approach to parenting, sought to blend royal obligations with a semblance of normalcy for her sons. This meant choosing Weatherby School in Kensington over a traditional palace upbringing with a governess. It was a deliberate choice to ensure William and Harry had a childhood that allowed them to interact with peers outside the royal sphere and experience a broader spectrum of life. William fondly recalled his mother's approach as informal, highlighting her understanding that life extended far beyond palace walls. This mindset shaped their family life, incorporating vacations, outings, and visits to hospitals and charities. Diana believed these experiences were crucial for her sons to develop empathy and a genuine understanding of the world beyond their royal lineage. As William and Harry grew, so did their involvement in royal duties. They participated in charitable events and undertook official engagements, all while balancing their education and personal growth under Diana's nurturing guidance. Her efforts to shield them from the full glare of public scrutiny while preparing them for their future roles as prominent figures in the monarchy, were evident in every carefully orchestrated moment of their upbringing. Maybe you don't know about a childhood accident that left Prince William with a scar on his face forever. The scar on Prince William's forehead, just above his eyebrow, carries with it a tale that blends childhood innocence with the unexpected. It was 1991, and William, then just eight years old, found himself on a putting green, engaged in a game of golf, an ordinary pastime for many, but one that would leave a lasting mark on the young prince. On the young in an interview for CBBC's News Round, William recounted the incident with candor, revealing the Harry Potter-esque origin of his scar. Yeah, we were on a putting green, and the next thing you know there was a seven iron, and it came out of nowhere, and it hit me in the head, he explained, pinpointing a golf club as the culprit via the Daily Mail. The impact was severe enough to cause a skull fracture, necessitating immediate surgery to address the injury, as reported by AP News. Despite the gravity of the situation, reports made clear that the incident was purely accidental. A spokesperson from Williams School emphasized that there was no malice involved. No one was being nasty or unkind to Prince William, they reassured noting his popularity among his peers, AP News. Throughout his recovery, both of William's parents, Prince Charles and Princess Diana, were by his side, offering comfort and support during what must have been a distressing time for the young prince and his family. It's sad that Princess Diana's companionship with William was completely cut off after her tragic death. The tragic events of August 31st, 1997, cast a profound shadow over the British royal family and the world at large. Princess Diana, known affectionately as the People's Princess, tragically lost her life in a car accident, sending shockwaves of grief and disbelief globally. For Prince William and Prince Harry, Diana's death marked an incomprehensible loss that would forever alter the course of their lives. William, at 15 years old, and Harry, just 12, were abruptly thrust into the spotlight of mourning, grappling with the sudden absence of their beloved mother. 
Despite their tender ages, they were required to display composure and dignity during the public outpouring of grief that followed Diana's passing. Behind the facade of royal duty and the public face of resilience at Diana's funeral, William and Harry privately navigated profound sorrow. The loss of their mother, who had been an unwavering source of love, guidance, and stability in their lives, left a void that could never be filled. Their mourning was not only for the loss of a parent, but also for the person who had shaped their childhoods with tenderness and understanding amidst the rigidity of royal protocol. The HBO documentary, Diana, Our Mother, Her Life and Legacy, provided a poignant glimpse into the profound impact Princess Diana's death had on her sons, Prince William and Prince Harry. Released years after her passing, it offered a platform for William and Harry to candidly reflect on their experiences and the enduring influence of their mother's memory. William, in particular, articulated the seismic emotional upheaval he felt upon losing Diana at such a young age. It's like an earthquake has just run through the house and through your life and everything, he expressed, illustrating the profound disruption and disorientation caused by her absence via town and country. The metaphor vividly captures the magnitude of grief that reshaped their world. Amidst the devastation, William drew strength from Diana's resilience and love. He shared how he leaned on her memory as a guiding light through the darkness of mourning. Slowly, you try and rebuild your life, and you try and understand what's happened. And I kept saying to myself that, you know, my mother would not want me to be upset, he revealed. This reflection underscores the profound bond he shared with Diana and his determination to honor her spirit by navigating his grief with grace and fortitude. When it comes to the shocks in William's life, we cannot ignore his father's infamous affair, which made William's childhood miserable. The affair between then Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles created seismic waves within the British royal family, profoundly impacting not only public perception, but also the private dynamics between Charles and his sons, William and Harry. The revelation of the affair shook the foundations of the monarchy and reverberated through the lives of those closest to Charles, particularly his relationship with his sons. Reports from 2021, as detailed by People, shed light on the complexities that have characterized the relationship between Charles and his sons over the years. A source disclosed to the publication that William and Harry had never enjoyed a close bond with their father. There has always been this complicated relationship with their dad, the insider revealed, highlighting the multifaceted nature of their connection. The source emphasized that beyond the typical father-son dynamic, Charles also served as their employer and financial supporter, adding layers of responsibility and expectation to their interactions. While the source refrained from directly attributing the strained relationship solely to the affair, the impact of Charles's extramarital relationship with Camilla was unmistakable. An article from The Telegraph underscored how the affair had become a source of tension within the royal family, exacerbating existing complexities and potentially influencing the dynamics between Charles and his sons. The revelation and aftermath of the affair undoubtedly posed challenges to the family's unity and tested the bonds of trust and understanding between its members. Royal author Penny Junor provided insight into the complexities of this period emphasizing how Diana confided much of her pain to William. He became acutely aware of the role Camilla played in his mother's unhappiness, yet understood that she also brought happiness to his father. The situation placed William in a difficult position emotionally. On one hand, he grappled with the profound loss of his mother and the knowledge that Camilla was a central figure in Diana's suffering. On the other hand, he had to reconcile this with his desire for his father's happiness and the evolving dynamics within the family. Witnessing his father's relationship with Camilla evolve after Diana's death understandably caused initial upset and emotional turmoil for William. However, over time, William and Charles managed to repair their relationship. 
As William matured and prepared for his future roles within the monarchy, including taking over his father's offices and titles, they grew closer. This reconciliation spoke to their shared commitment to their roles within the royal family and their mutual respect for each other's positions and responsibilities. In contrast, the relationship between Harry and Charles has reportedly faced greater challenges over the years. The rift has been exacerbated by various factors, including Harry's marriage to Meghan Markle and their subsequent departure from official royal duties. The strains in their relationship underscore the complexities of personal and public pressures within the royal family, highlighting how individual choices and circumstances can impact familial dynamics in profound ways. Fast forward to William's adulthood. Few of us know that he struggled at Eton College, to fit in with his peers. Prince William's attendance at Eton College marked a significant chapter in his education and personal development, steeped in the tradition and prestige of one of England's most renowned institutions. Founded by King Henry VI in 1440, Eton College's origins as a school to educate 70 poor boys evolved over centuries into a symbol of academic excellence and cultural heritage. For William, Eaton offered more than just a high-quality education. It immersed him in an environment rich with history and tradition, aligning closely with the royal family's deep connection to England's cultural legacy. The decision to enroll both William and his younger brother Harry at Eaton underscored the importance of grounding the princes in the values and educational standards emblematic of such an esteemed institution. However, despite the opportunities and advantages Eaton afforded, William's time there was not without its challenges. Like many students navigating adolescence in a highly visible context, he encountered occasional scrutiny and even teasing from his peers. The pressures of being in the public eye, coupled with the expectations placed upon him as a member of the royal family, added layers of complexity to his school experience. Prince William's time at Eton College, as revealed by actor Eddie Redmayne on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, sheds light on the complex blend of privilege, camaraderie, and occasional challenges he experienced at the prestigious institution. Redmayne's anecdote about rugby games highlights a unique aspect of William's school life, being the center of attention simply because of his royal status. I always felt a bit sorry for him because basically any school you played, all they wanted to do was tackle Prince William in order that they could say, I tackled Prince William, Redmayne recounted. This phenomenon underscores the curiosity and starstruck fascination William's presence often elicited among his peers, turning every sports match into a potential claim to fame for those who managed to face off against him. Despite the occasional targeting on the rugby field, William's experience at Eton College appears to have been largely positive and fulfilling. Photos from his time there depict a young prince engaged in various activities, from cooking to studying in on-campus housing, showcasing a more intimate glimpse into his daily life away from the royal spotlight. These snapshots reflect William's efforts to blend into the student community while also embracing the responsibilities and expectations that came with his royal lineage. Besides, Prince William's tenure at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst marked a pivotal phase in his life, blending duty, tradition, and personal growth within the framework of his royal responsibilities. As a British male royal heir, attending Sandhurst was not just a choice but an expected path, reflecting centuries-old traditions of military service among the British monarchy. After completing his undergraduate studies at Scotland's prestigious St. Andrews University, William embarked on his military training at Sandhurst. This transition from academia to military life represented a significant shift, where he immersed himself in the rigorous training and discipline synonymous with one of the world's foremost military academies. William's connection to Sandhurst remained palpable even years after his graduation, as evidenced during his visit to the annual Sovereign's Day Parade in 2018. His presence at the academy, where he issued awards and delivered a speech, underscored his continued reverence for the institution that had shaped his early adulthood. 
Reflecting on his own experience as a cadet, William humorously recalled the mix of pride and eagerness he felt upon passing out, a sentiment familiar to every graduate marching off the parade square. Beyond the anecdotes, William used the occasion to emphasize the profound impact Sandhurst had on his personal and professional development. He highlighted the enduring friendships forged during his time there and the invaluable lessons learned from interacting with peers of diverse backgrounds, cultures, and beliefs. His speech underscored the Academy's role not just in military training, but in fostering camaraderie and global understanding among future leaders. The significance of Sandhurst in William's life was further underscored by his openness about his experiences with his wife, Kate Middleton. William's fond recollections and shared stories with Kate about his time at Sandhurst illustrate how deeply the Academy's teachings and ethos resonated with him, shaping his perspectives and values both as a military officer and as a member of the royal family. We all know that Prince William's military service stands as a cornerstone of his dedication to public duty and personal growth reflecting his commitment to serving his country and contributing meaningfully to society. In 2009, following his graduation from Sandhurst, William embarked on a multifaceted career in the British military, serving in both the Royal Air Force, RAF, and the Royal Navy. Initially trained as a search-and-rescue pilot, William earned the title of Flight Lieutenant Wales, and swiftly immersed himself in the demanding and vital role of conducting search-and-rescue operations. His tenure in the military was marked by over 156 operations, where he played a crucial role in saving lives and providing emergency assistance to those in distress across various terrains and conditions. Upon completing his training, William expressed his enthusiasm and dedication to his new role, emphasizing his love for flying and the honor he felt in serving operationally with the search and rescue force. His statement, shared via the royal family's website, highlighted his deep sense of pride in contributing to such a crucial emergency service. Beyond his initial service, William continued to expand his skills and contributions within the military. He later transitioned to a role as a helicopter pilot for the East Anglian Air Ambulance, where he applied his training and expertise to provide rapid medical assistance to those in critical situations. This phase of his career further solidified his admiration for the dedication and skill of emergency service professionals. In an editorial piece for the Eastern Daily Press, William reflected on the profound impact of his time with the East Anglian Air Ambulance, acknowledging the transformative experiences he had witnessed and the respect he had gained for the men and women who serve in emergency services. His words underscored his ongoing commitment to advocating for and supporting the invaluable work of emergency responders, even as he transitioned away from active service. At the end of his educational career, William's life took a more beautiful turn after meeting Kate Middleton. The love story of Prince William and Kate Middleton, now the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, captivated the world, blending romance, modernity, and royal tradition in a tale that began during their university years and culminated in a spectacular royal wedding. Both William and Kate enrolled at the University of St. Andrews in 2001, where they initially crossed paths as students pursuing their respective degrees. Despite their royal connections, their early interactions were as classmates and friends, gradually evolving into a deeper connection as they became acquainted through shared experiences at university. Their bond strengthened over time, and they eventually became roommates, sharing not only academic pursuits but also the trials and joys of university life. As their relationship blossomed, it became evident to those around them that theirs was more than just a casual romance. They navigated the challenges of public scrutiny and the pressures of royal expectations while nurturing a relationship that endured through their university years and beyond. However, in 2007, their relationship faced a brief hiatus, during which they parted ways temporarily. Their brief breakup, though difficult, ultimately reinforced their commitment to each other. By 2010, they had reunited, 
and Prince William decided that the time was right to propose. He chose a private moment away from the public eye, surrounded by friends, to ask Kate to marry him. Reflecting on the proposal during their engagement interview, William shared his conviction that it was the perfect moment to take their relationship to the next level. The announcement of their engagement in November 2010 set the stage for one of the most highly anticipated royal events in recent history. On April 29, 2011, Prince William and Kate Middleton exchanged vows in a lavish ceremony at Westminster Abbey, watched by millions around the globe. The grandeur and significance of the occasion were underscored by Queen Elizabeth II, granting them the titles of Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, a symbolic gesture that solidified their place within the royal family and as global icons. Global I William and Kate then had a spectacular journey to expand their small family. The birth of Prince George in 2013 marked a joyous milestone for Prince William and Kate Middleton, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, heralding a new era in their lives as parents and in the public eye. The arrival of their first child was greeted with widespread celebrations worldwide, reflecting the deep affection and interest in the young royal couple. Two years later, in 2015, the Cambridge family expanded with the birth of Princess Charlotte, adding another bundle of joy to their growing household. The addition of a daughter brought further happiness and a sense of completeness to William and Kate's family life, while also continuing to captivate global attention. In 2018, the couple welcomed their third child, Prince Louis, completing their trio of young royals. The birth of each child was not only a personal milestone for William and Kate, but also a significant event for the British monarchy, ensuring the continuity of the royal lineage and captivating the public with each new addition to the family. Becoming a parent profoundly impacted Prince William, as he candidly shared in discussions for the BBC documentary, Football, Prince William, and Our Mental Health. He described parenthood as the biggest life-changing moment, acknowledging how deeply it affected him on emotional levels. William spoke openly about how the experience of fatherhood stirred memories and emotions related to the traumatic loss of his mother, Princess Diana, underscoring the complexity of emotions that parenthood can evoke. Despite the emotional challenges, William emphasized how he and Kate navigated parenthood together, supporting each other through the highs and lows of raising three young children under the intense scrutiny of public life. He expressed gratitude for their partnership in parenting, highlighting how they evolve and learn together as they embrace their roles as parents. In his journey to contribute to his royal career, Prince William got off to a good start with a campaign to raise awareness about mental health. The launch of Heads Together in 2016 marked a significant turning point for Prince William, Kate Middleton, and Prince Harry, as they united their efforts to tackle the stigma surrounding mental health issues and promote open conversations on a global scale. Founded with the aim of normalizing discussions about mental health, the campaign swiftly gained momentum and set ambitious goals to raise awareness and funds for new mental health resources. At its core, Heads Together aimed to empower individuals to speak openly about their mental health challenges, emphasizing that seeking help is a sign of strength rather than weakness. The campaign's website highlighted initiatives such as Mentally Healthy Schools, a platform designed to equip teachers with resources to support students' mental well-being within the classroom environment. This innovative approach underscored the Royal Trio's commitment to fostering mental resilience from a young age, recognizing the pivotal role of education in nurturing mental health awareness. For Prince William, the campaign held personal significance, fueled by his own experiences and insights gained from his previous roles. During his tenure as a search-and-rescue pilot and later as a helicopter pilot for the East Anglian Air Ambulance, William confronted the profound emotional toll of handling traumatic incidents on a daily basis. Speaking at the Davos World Economic Forum, he candidly shared how these experiences had impacted his own mental health, challenging prevalent cultural taboos around emotional expression. Reflecting on the British cultural context, William acknowledged the reluctance to discuss emotions openly, 
noting the pervasive stigma that often hindered individuals from seeking support. His willingness to share his vulnerabilities and advocate for mental health awareness within high-profile platforms represented a significant departure from the royal family's historical reticence regarding personal struggles. Despite initial challenges, including reluctance from some celebrities to engage due to stigma, Heads Together gradually garnered widespread support as its mission and impact became more widely understood. The campaign's success was further bolstered by collaborative efforts with various organizations and community stakeholders, driving forward initiatives aimed at fostering a more supportive and empathetic societal approach to mental health. Despite his efforts as a royal son, William still had to go through many major events, typically the sudden death of Queen Elizabeth. The passing of Queen Elizabeth II in recent times marked a profound and transformative moment in the life of Prince William, as well as for the entire royal family and the United Kingdom. As the eldest grandson of the late Queen, William not only faced the personal grief of losing his grandmother, but also stepped into an enhanced role within the monarchy, with significant implications for his future responsibilities. In a poignant statement issued shortly after the Queen's passing, Prince William expressed both sorrow and gratitude for the immense influence and guidance Queen Elizabeth had bestowed upon him throughout his life. He highlighted the profound impact of her wisdom and reassurance, which had been a steady presence not only for him but also for his wife, Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, and their three children. William's reflections underscored the deep personal connections and cherished memories shared with the Queen, particularly during family holidays that now serve as enduring legacies for the next generation. The death of Queen Elizabeth II also triggered a monumental shift in the royal line of succession, with William's father, Prince Charles, ascending to the throne as King Charles III. This transition marked the culmination of Queen Elizabeth's historic reign, which spanned decades of unwavering dedication and service to the Commonwealth. Although Charles assumed the title of king immediately upon his mother's passing, the formal coronation ceremony, a solemn and elaborate event steeped in tradition, requires meticulous preparation and will occur at a later date. In his own statement following the Queen's death, King Charles III paid tribute to his mother's unparalleled legacy, emphasizing the extraordinary duration and unwavering commitment that defined her reign. His words reflected both a sense of loss and a profound sense of gratitude for the remarkable life of service that Queen Elizabeth embodied. Following the death of Queen Elizabeth II, Prince William assumed several pivotal roles within the British monarchy, marking a significant transition in his royal duties and responsibilities. As the eldest son of King Charles III, William was officially named the Prince of Wales, a title traditionally bestowed upon the heir apparent to the British throne. This appointment also elevated Kate Middleton to the title of Princess of Wales, a designation that holds deep historical and cultural significance within the royal family. A statement issued by Buckingham Palace underscored William and Kate's commitment to honoring Wales's rich heritage and traditions while embracing the opportunities that lie ahead. The couple expressed their dedication to upholding the proud legacy of the royal family through their actions and engagements, reflecting their readiness to assume heightened roles in service to the monarchy and the United Kingdom. In addition to his new titles, Prince William inherited a substantial responsibility in the form of the Duchy of Cornwall estate, a historic and expansive property spanning nearly 140,000 acres. Originally established in 1337 by King Edward III, the Duchy of Cornwall serves as a private estate providing revenue to the Duke of Cornwall, now Prince William, and his family. The estate's revenue supports various charitable endeavors and community projects, reflecting the royal family's long-standing commitment to philanthropy and public service. The management of the Duchy of Cornwall estate involves overseeing a diverse portfolio of assets, including agricultural land, residential and commercial properties, and natural resources. 
Revenue generated from these holdings not only supports the prince and his family's personal expenditures, but also contributes significantly to charitable initiatives across the United Kingdom. When we reflect on William's life, we can realize that he never had it all. When an opportunity came, he had to trade another precious thing, and now he has lost the love of his younger brother. Prince William and Prince Harry, once portrayed as close siblings who shared a strong bond growing up within the royal family, have seen their relationship undergo significant strain in recent years, culminating in a notable rift that has captured public attention and speculation. From their early years, William and Harry were not just brothers but also companions, navigating the unique challenges of royal life together. Their shared experiences, including the tragic loss of their mother, Princess Diana, in 1997, further cemented their closeness. However, as they matured and pursued separate paths within the royal family, tensions began to surface. Reports of a rift between the brothers began circulating as early as March 2019, attributed in part to the natural evolution of their individual lives. Nick Bullen, a respected royal filmmaker, acknowledged that both princes were establishing their own families, with distinct roles and responsibilities that inevitably led them in different directions geographically and emotionally. The dynamic between William and Harry notably shifted following Harry's marriage to Meghan Markle in 2018. Meghan, a former American actress and activist, brought a fresh perspective and energy to the royal family, while also sparking intense media scrutiny and public interest. The couple's decision to step back from their senior royal duties in early 2020, commonly referred to as Megxit, further exacerbated tensions within the family. The situation escalated dramatically after Harry and Meghan's revealing interview with Oprah Winfrey in March 2021. During the interview, Harry disclosed that there had been a significant strain in his relationship with William, describing their current status as spaced. He also alluded to issues within the royal family, including allegations of racism directed towards Meghan, which stirred considerable controversy and prompted global discussions about institutional dynamics and accountability within the monarchy. In response to the interview, Prince William publicly refuted allegations of racism within the royal family, affirming that they are very much not a racist family. However, he also acknowledged that he had not yet engaged in direct communication with his brother regarding the revelations made during the interview, highlighting the depth of the estrangement between them. The fallout from these revelations underscored the complexity and challenges facing the royal family, as well as the personal toll on the relationship between William and Harry. While both princes remain committed to their respective duties and charitable endeavors, their once close brotherly bond has undoubtedly been strained by these tumultuous events. What do you think about the transformation in Prince William's life? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.